My name is He Jin. I'm a principal AI product manager at Together AI. Together AI is the um, cloud platform for open source and custom models. So we have four different products that kind of support the wherever you are in your journey of ML productions or ML applications that we support you. So we starting with the um, Together Inference API, then we have a Together Fine Tuning API if you want to fine tune your open source models for your own purpose. And we also have a custom model build where people want to make more custom, like complex model build, and we help you do that. And also we provide a GPU clusters where people want to bring their own like training infrastructure or training code base to train their own models. I think the exciting part is that previously, or at least like, a couple of years ago, a lot of people think of AI as more sci-fi or something that very small group of people can kind of actively working on. And now it's really exciting to see so many people wants to use AI. And there are many tools are coming out like Waze and Vices and together to support those kind of AI applications. And it's really good to see the possibility and potential of AI is actually being applied to real world. Yeah, so for in terms of like building a model, it is really important to understand the model behavior and doing a lot of ablation study is a very crucial part because a lot of times our research team is really trying to kind of push the boundary of the state-of-the-art state models. Because it is a complex model, we have many different experiments and kind of comparing those, especially weights and bites is a really great tool for that, that many different ablation studies and we're comparing those experiments and also communicate that to uh, people like me, like product managers, but also many different part of the companies to kind of iterate through that is really important. I think the really nice feature is that it, it, it the user interface in terms of um, the comparing different runs is very crucial. Uh, often you may run the many different experiments and then comparing that in, like really nicely is can be sometimes challenging in other tools. And weights and biases really feel like this this understand me, um, like for this understand ML engineers or ML researchers, like and really do well to how to make the the experience better and the really focus on what I need to focus on. And also another really feature that I like is the report features. You know, like you do run a bunch of experiments and sometimes when you want to communicate, you screenshot it or you copy that and then put it into different documents and then share it. Even though it is not really complicated work that adds additional like overhead that makes the communication less smooth. So having this report features actually makes the communication really nice and discussion became like smoother. I think there are definitely concepts that's kind of unique to LLM in terms of, well, it started with that in terms of like context length uh, tokens um, and how you do some of the like, fine tuning part of it as well. And I think those kind of, some of the techniques that came out from LLM is being also applicable to other areas as well. And also another nice part of LLM is there is a lot of unstructured data that you can use to experiment with. And in terms of evaluation wise, compared to other applications like, for example, making models for self-driving car, it's the evaluation is much easier and iterate faster. So I think kind of understanding this uh, language part of it, but also quickly be able to iterate through to understand the ML part and how to develop generate AI models can be really useful. I think it's similar to what I mentioned earlier that this it is really exciting to see AI being applied to many different aspects in the industry and in different sectors. I think that previously, if you go to traditional industry and they're talking about like, I wanna implement AI to make your workflow more efficient, there are probably a lot of pushback or people kind of maybe skeptical about like, I don't think the AI can really do it. And I think this like AI recent AI, AI revolution is kind of enable the perspective and change the perspective of people who are not necessarily in this field. And I think there can be a lot of impact to be made.